It's um sometime. Hi guys, can you guess the title of my next video? Hurry up! Write your guess in the comment section below. Why is it hard to cure cancer? Hmm? Cancer is not a single disease. It is a name given to a collection of diseases that have some common characteristics. Cancer usually begins when there is a sudden change or mutation in the genes present in our cells. This leads to uncontrolled cell division. Now, it is hard to cure cancer because every cancer is caused by a different set of genetic mutations in different types of cells. Hence, it is a different disease each time due to which a treatment which works for an individual doesn't necessarily work for the other. Now, cancer cells can be killed with treatments like chemotherapy or radiation. However, sometimes these treatments may not kill all the cancer cells, risking a cancer relapse. Moreover, such treatments even harm healthy cells of our body. Cancer cells can even metastasize. That is, they can spread to different body parts and start growing there, thus making it difficult to eradicate cancer completely. In addition to this, many cancers are diagnosed at very late oh. stages, which makes treatment less likely to succeed, thus reducing the chances of survival. Where does the fat go huh? when you lose weight? Huh? Santa Claus takes it away! Nah. Our Whoa. food contains nutrients like carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. When we eat food, these nutrients give us energy and help us to grow. Hmm. However, when we eat excess amount of these nutrients, our body stores Whoa. them as triglycerides in fat or adipose cells for later use. This ultimately results in weight hmm. gain. Now, according to a prevailing research, when we try to lose weight, we actually break down these triglycerides in the presence of oxygen, converting them into carbon dioxide, water, and energy. What? My fat turns into carbon dioxide, water, and energy? Yep, we exhale the carbon dioxide gas. Oh. Water is given out in the form of urine, sweat, or tears, whereas we use the energy to perform various activities. <laughs> Why shouldn't we look at the sun? We shouldn't look at the sun because the moon will feel jealous! No! It is because the sun not only gives out a tremendous amount of light, but it also emits ultraviolet radiation. This radiation can harm our eyes and even make us blind. Nah, I don't believe you. Alright, I'll explain. When we look or stare at the sun for a long time, the emitted ultraviolet radiation burns the outermost layer of our eyes called cornea causing intense pain and inflammation. This condition is called photokeratitis. In addition to this, the radiation also damages the proteins present in the eye lens, giving us cataract and thus causing blurry vision. Moreover, the ultraviolet radiation even damages the light-sensitive cells in the retina which help us to see. This condition is called solar retinopathy. Solar retinopathy can lead to temporary or even permanent blindness. Mm. <laughs> oh. What causes brain freeze? An empty wallet. Nah. Huh? Brain freeze or ice cream headache is a short-term headache. Scientifically, it is called sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia. Oh man, what a complicated name. Huh? Indeed. In the back of our throat, there are two main arteries. They are internal carotid artery and anterior cerebral artery. They supply blood to the entire brain. Oh. Now, when we have cold foods <laughs> such as an ice cream or a cold beverage rapidly, the temperature in our throat drops suddenly. Hmm. This causes the two arteries which are supplying blood to the brain to contract quickly. Oh. As there is a sudden change in the blood hmm. flow, it results in a type of headache called a brain freeze. Hmm. It is the brain's way of telling us to slow down and have that ice cream or cold beverage slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Topic Density <laughs> Why does an iron nail float on mercury and sink in water? Mm. Huh? Ah! 
Oh, looks like you were stuck in the middle of a huge huh? sea. Huh? Hmm. Oh, really? I had no idea. <laughs> no, don't take the nail into water. It will sink. Huh? Take the nail into mercury. It will float and help you reach the shore. <laughs> <laughs> you were bluffing. How will the nail float in mercury? <laughs> Please listen to me. Oh, no. <laughs> See, I warned you. Hmm. Will you now use the nail in huh? mercury? Yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> Do you know why the iron nail sank in water and floated on mercury? Hmm. Ah! It is because of density. Huh? Density is the measure of mass present per unit volume. Oh. <laughs> lesser the density of the fluid, lesser will be the upward force exerted by the fluid on the object placed in it. In the first case, the iron nail sinks in water because the density of water is comparatively less than the iron nail. As water is less dense, the upward force exerted by it on the nail is less. Hence, the nail sinks in water. Oh. <laughs> However, in the second case, as the density of mercury is comparatively more than the iron nail, the upward force exerted by mercury is more. Hence, huh? the nail floats on mercury. <laughs>